Hi, Dr. Mark Winnegar here, and in this screencast, we're going to talk about validating websites. Now, making websites takes some getting used to for computer programmers. With a computer program, if you make any errors in the logic or syntax of your program, it won't run. With a web page, you can make an error, and it will just the browsers will just ignore your error. So you don't get that feedback, but there is a way you can test the quality of your page. So let's open up our layout with divisions page. And what I've done is I've gone in to this page and I've added a little code to it. You'll notice up at the top, before I even begin the HTML, I have this text, which is, I'm starting a tag, I'm saying exclamation point, dot type, HTML public, and then I literally copied verbatim this, this code. So I'm telling it that I'm using this the rules for HTML version 4.01, which is the current standard. And that the rules for that language can be found out on the World Wide Web at the World Wide Web Organization. And this is where it can be found. And it's the strict, the strict rules. I'm following the strictest rules, so I want perfect compliance with that standard. And then I put comments below that describe the three levels. Now strict means that it contains all HTML elements and attributes, but does not include presentational or deprecated elements and frames are not allowed, okay? So, it's all current stuff and no frames. Loose would allow me to include some of the presentational and deprecated elements, like font. That would be permissible, but not frame sets. And then finally, frame set is what's well, the 4.0 transitional requirements, which means that we're making a somewhat honest attempt to update it, but ignore any presentational, deprecated, or frame set elements that you find. Okay, so again, we're going for the strictest. Now, this is my source code. Now, I'm going to take this source code and I'm going to copy it all, the entire file, to my keyboard buffer with an open Apple C for copy. Now let's go back to our Safari window. I've got another tab open already to the W3C Markup Validation Service. Now their URL is validator dot w3 dot org again w3c the World Wide web consortium is that organization that sets all of the standards so they're the best source for validation to my way of thinking okay so my just pasted my code in and I'm going to click on the check button okay and it comes back as this passed 13 warnings. I've already tested this code and none of them are errors and most of them have to do with the break space forward slash. You know how we end that empty element which is kind of an odd thing because that's the preferred method with the standard. So at the end it's congratulating us on a clean strict compliant web page. That's as good as you can hope for and all you've got to do 
if you want to validate a page is to literally cut and paste those two lines into your web page before the HTML and then you simply make your choice whoops I'm sorry you make your choice at the end here which DTD do you want to comply with there's the strict that's the best one there's the loose and there's the frame set and I prefer that we always use strict okay have fun